Hello, my friends. It's almost the end of May, and I have not yet done my May Flower of the Month embellishment, so let's do it today. If you've been following along, you know that I started in February, and here's the uh, February's Violets, March Daffodil, and April Sweet Peas. The Flower of the Month for May is Lily of the Valley. And here's just my quick paper copy. Uh, they have big, broad leaves and then tiny little bell-shaped flowers. Very, very simple. The brush is going to do all the work for us. So to save some time, I have already painted three of my background leaves. I'll add one more to show you how it was done. But I, um, it took a few coats to get opaque, and um, I used a hair dryer in between to dry it, so I didn't want to make this video too long, so let's get to it. And you may notice that um, I am painting on little canvas prints so I don't have to keep pouring the background over and over again. And that way the whole set will look cohesive when I'm done. All right. So I've got here, I'm using um, <clears throat> Grumbacher paints because I just like them. They're nice and creamy and uh, vivid colors. I'm using Thalo Green, Permanent Green Light, uh, Thalo Yellow Green. <clears throat> Actually, that's Yellow Green. This is Thalo Green Light. Um, Cad Yellow, Black and White. And I do have some Cad Orange out here just for fun. All right, let's paint a leaf. I painted these using a half inch flat brush. And let's go for it. I want a lighter leaf overlapping this dark one. <clears throat> so I'll start with some white, pick up some of this phthalo. I'm gonna pick up all the greens and even a bit of yellow. That might be okay. So I'm started with the uh, chisel end of the brush. And I'm going back in because I want to get rid of the ridges on the sides. And I still have them. I've got a lot of paint on this brush. But it's a good color, I think. All right. Starting with the um, setting the brush down on the chisel edge, which is the flat edge there. I'm going <clears> to <throat> start with it thin, and then I'll press down, make it thicker, and then back up to the chisel edge to get this kind of a, a look. So chisel edge. Flatten out and lift. That's quite a contrast between those two. That's almost too much contrast. Um, I'm going to darken that. Give it a second coat with a, a little darker. That's better. Well, I can live with that. Maybe well, I'll go over this one as well to uh, to make it a little more to make that one not stand out so much. I'll even lightly, almost dry brush over this dark, dark, dark one. I want the dark so um, 
the flowers will pop. I was afraid if I just did the stems and flowers, there's so much white on here that uh, they wouldn't be seen. So I have to make the leaves be my, oops, background. Well, that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna smooth that out. I did wanna add a little highlight there, I don't mind. Instead of a solid mass of dark. All right, we'll call that good. Okay, now I'm gonna to switch to a liner brush and create some stems for my little flowers. So I want them lighter, so kind of a yellow green. I'm gonna go into, can you see my palette? I think so. I'm gonna go into the yellow and, and this green, some white. Just bouncing around to the different colors until I see what I like on the palette. Oh, I think I like that. Add a touch of phthalo. Phthalo is very blue. That's almost too blue. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the yellow. In fact, th this is where I'm gonna add a bit of red. Just dab my brush into the red to cut, tone that down a little bit. It was too bright. All right, let's try that. And I won't bother hitting it with a paint brush, uh, the hair dryer, but normally I would before I do this, but I, it's fairly dry. Okay, I'm gonna just run some stems. I didn't really want to crisscross like that, but oh well. Need it a little more watery. It's a, not quite the right consistency. I don't like this liner brush. This is not a good liner brush. Okay. I'll try this one a little shorter. That that one was too. Take that off. I'm gonna thin them up. They're too wide. So I've wet, I have a wet paintbrush. Just water, and I'm going along making them thinner. That's, that's better. It's not great, but okay. Now the flowers hang from little um, hooks like, so let's try that with this other little brush. I'll just make these little hook shapes. I'm 
they're not going to be, um, a lot of them are going to be covered up by, uh, by the little flowers themselves. So you don't have to worry about making these perfect. But they are so, um, let's make a big loop here. They're so um, representative of these flowers that you, you have to have them. Okay, let's call that good. All right, now we're gonna switch to a filbert brush. You know, the filbert is the rounded edge brush as opposed to a flat brush, which is square across the top. And I'm gonna go into this kind of uh, pale green, a lot of white. with a bit of green. And I'm gonna let the paintbrush make the shape of the the flower. So just going to go to the end of the hook there and press and lift. Reload. Press and lift. To have them going you know different directions. Different sizes, okay. Have them overlap. This is so simple, I'm almost embarrassed to show you. But really, you know, you get the right brush and it will just create them for you. Um, I have an idea just to change it up a little bit. Let's um, take the end of a brush and I'm gonna dip it in the white. And towards the top here, we'll just have some kind of uh, little blossoms, I guess they'd be. I'll just add some more. Let's look at it. I'll put them here and there. Maybe even some right here that are unopened. Okay. Now, let's go back and put another um, layer of white now. Get that filbert brush back, where is it? Here it is. My white is starting to set up a little bit, so I'm gonna pull, pull out some pliable white there. And um, <clears throat> go over these. You can leave a little bit of the green showing through, It'll give a little Added dimension. They come in pink, I think, and even uh, lavender. But they're traditional. The ones, when you think of them, when I think of them, I think of white. I'm reminded of them when I was a um, 
kid in growing up in Illinois. I used to love, they grew wild around the house and I used to love to lay on my stomach and just smell them. There was a perfume when I was growing up called Miguet de Bois, I think. I never had any, but um, I just loved the bottle. That was so pretty. Okay. This is so easy, I'm almost embarrassed to show you. Let's add a little tiny bit of color because all I have really are green and white here. Um, I'm gonna go into the yellow, just teeny tiny tap of yellow and um, as if some of these flowers were kind of facing you. Oops, I had water on there, that's not good. Yellow, that hardly shows. Um, I'll tap into that orange, into the cad. The cad red. I've got a puddle of water there. That's not good. Go paper towel and blot that. I'm not going to do it on every one, but just a few that um, are almost facing you that kind of look like they are on this one. Just tap in a little bit of color because I do have um, inside, you know, a little center, of course. Oh, and I should add a little, little tiny. Um, Sticky out, you know, oh golly. you know, little, um, the petal, it's what it is. The flower is, you know, bell shaped, but it's actually six sections. And each section at the end flares up like that. This part is all pretty solid, but the ends separate and you know, bell up. So let's go into the white with a liner brush. And just dab on some little, little tiny things to make it look more bell shaped. This needs a little more white. So the filbert brush gives you your basic shape, nice rounded top, but then you have to add a little bit of detail to make it look recognizable as a, a lily of the valley. This is the one where I'm seeing the um, center. So these would have the little bell thing around it. That one's, I didn't go over twice, did I? But I get them all. I 
Okay. How can I make this a little better than it is? It's pretty, pretty simple. I think I'll go into the yellow green and uh, just maybe highlight some of these stems a little bit more. You know, it's nerve-wracking painting on video, brush painting. <laughs> I don't love it. I would be much more careful if I was um, not painting in front of you. Because I'm trying to make this fast. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna call this quits. Um, you, you can tell, I think, I hope, that it's supposed to be representative of the lily of the valley. And um, there we go, May's flower of the month. Next month is a rose. That will be fun to do, because I'll be able to finally use some color. <laughs> okay, my friends, thanks for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time.